During his life, Ken Kesey was at once a counterculture and literary hero, best known for his book, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Before he died in 2001, Kesey spoke to National Geographic about his inspiring love of the Oregon coast. Everybody who has come and seen the ocean for the first time, they get over there and they look and they begin to reflect, you know, whether it's a four-year-old kid or an 80-year-old man. They, all of them go through something in their minds that I think the human has been going through for a long, long time. It's still treacherous out there. When I'm over there working alone at night, man, you begin to think of stuff that you think, why am I thinking of this? I'm, I, I'm thinking of ghosts and spirits and things that move in the night. It makes you think of strange and ancient magic and the coast does. Because you just hear that continual whom, whom. And it uh, moves you into um, another wavelength. When you see something over there, it's, you see it in a different light than you do anywhere else. It's a wonderful uh, place to watch sunsets. Each one is different and uh, you will get the real theatrical play on those clouds. All the birds will turn and watch the sun go down. And you can sit out there and watch the, the sky get completely dark. Uh, and every moment is there's stuff going on. It's a, a humbling thing to go over there and move along that coast. But just something about that edge between the land and the water 